Hey guys, welcome to, what is this, game four between Kala and Scan. I believe I've done this one before. Six o'clock location, we have Kala as the cream toss. Up left in corner, we have Scan as the purple Terran. I like it when we see purple Terran. This is once again on Turbine. So previous match, maybe Scan could have fought it out. But I think he there's just too many carriers in the air. Kala probably could have taken additional bases. Um, just was out supplied. I mean, that was a lot of carriers. And he just couldn't produce, I think, the Goliaths and the Siege Tanks that he really wanted to. Or Vultures. Really, he just didn't have enough economy to maintain map control. Any semblance of map control to ho both hold his bases, deny bases, and push back the carriers from the last match. Anyway, I expect my supposition here is that in every single match, because of the architecture... Here we are going to see just straight up. I wonder why they have that hallucinated mineral right there. Curious what the function is. Is it just to be fancy? To be like, we can have hallucinated minerals on this map. Maybe I can hear from the map creator at some point. Also wanted to give one more shout out to, I don't know when this is going to be released as part of my general schedule, but we might be, depending if it's like later in the week of the 7th, you might have just enough time to go ahead and sign up for CPL Season 7. I want to give that shout out. Also, special thanks to Esports Fund and Team Think Quick for getting me these replays. I really, really appreciate it. These are fun ones to do. I love it when I can do like ASL quality casts. My only lament is that there's not anything on the line in these matches. So it's kind of like a more like, it almost feels like this is more practice play uh, overall. Granted, that was kind of the same case for the machine matches on I'm trying to remember the name of the map there. But anyway, also check out the New Worlds map contest on teamliquid.net. Vote for your favorite. If voting is still... I think we're pretty close to the finals there, or the finals have happened. Kind of an interesting thing to support the foreigner map community and uh, their efforts in making interesting maps. Are seeing a 14 command center opposite corner. And I'm wondering if we... We'll see if there's some variation play. We see the power of carriers on this map, particularly in its ability to kind of threat, and unfortunately it looks like Kala is going to be scanning upper right-hand corner first, so once again, Scan's going to be able to keep him in the dark. Carriers with those map features, and especially once you get kind of to the... Go ahead and do a map reveal. Once you get kind of to this region right here, the Goliath going up into the dark, especially if there's any sort of ground unit, High Templar, Zealots, anything underneath, it's very dangerous. Uh, to engage across this section of the map. So they kind of go, got to go the, the far way around, right? Open area, and it just feels like, yeah, there's a lot of areas for carriers to just kind of sneak back to. I like the spinny thing in the middle. I wonder if this is one of those things where if you look at it, like, counterclockwise or clockwise, it, like, shifts the rotation thing, you know, that brain multi thing. Three SCVs on gas to get a quick factory lifting up so that mineral can get that, uh, that can get back across. We do see proxy pylon for Kala. And a gas steal from Scan at the natural. <laughs> Insult to injury. Cybernetics core warping in. Here's the thing for Scan. He should be able to wander around this base with this SCV and see a lack of a third pylon. And that's going to be a big indicator to him that something's up. A zealot making its way towards this front door. And with that in mind, let's see if he is prepared to deal with it. So leaving that refinery just a little bit finished where he can cancel it. Yeah. Making his way back across. Dragoon about halfway finished. But yeah, I think he's got to see a lack of a third pylon in this base. Which lets him know something's up. Robotics facility warping in. So we are probably seeing Proxy Reaver. Factory and two Marines. There for scan. The Dragoon trying to hunt down that SCV. And yeah, the SCV, I think, just looking for that, trying to find that third pylon. I wonder how often in these matches, Protoss players just put a pylon in a weird spot inside their own base. I don't think, well, looks like that Zealot's not going to protect that front door, but the SCV is going to get wiped out anyway. Second gateway being warped in. Are we going to see a gateway cancellation? Working on that refinery to get additional gas. It's going to slow things down a bit as far as... Robotics facility tech and the units being able to produce, not having that spare gas. Siege tank being produced, Terran Academy, and a starport. I like the starport play. 
So kind of covering both angles here is going to have scans to provide some detection for maybe a Dark Templar drop, but also, I assume, produce a wraith to deal with any sort of shuttle. Probe nearby, it looks like two zealots and a dragoon, so it might even just be straight straight army drop. There is that, that first siege tank. Initially building a starport, canceling it to get that wraith out a little bit faster. Academy is here to get Comsat station to kind of produce those additional one for detection, but two to kind of get an eye on what scans up to or what call is up to. Pylon at that natural. Dragoon there in waiting. We do see that reaver being built. And now the starport. So this is going to be a full on. So two starports. This is going to be a Wraith follow-up with Cloak. So realizing that... <laughs> this is clever. So first of all, going to be able to push that shuttle back. Second of all, because the Reavers were being produced, that's going to be fewer observers, which means these Wraith very likely are going to get additional opportunities to get some damage done. And this is, yeah, just a Dragoon and two Zealots dropping towards the main. Going to be able to disrupt a little bit of the supply being built. Two Dragoons there in kind of a dis defensive procedure. And with this threat towards the main, once these Siege Shanks move back, let's see if these Dragoons actually press forward. Two Marines making their way up. The Dragoons going to go? No, they're not. Reaver following it up, but they are being greeted by that Wraith. Zelts on top of the Marine. Three Siege Shanks in those. Yeah, that shuttle needs to drop off its supply. Now the Dragoons moving up. Oh, huge loss! So the three Wraith actually able to take... Honestly, if that Reaver and the Dragoon got out, still might have had some something that might have been able to happen. But the Dragoons instead backing off. That is a Wraith Force. Keep in mind they have Cloak. And these Observers, just now being produced, have to go, have to run all the way home from this proxy location. So nice counterplay from Scan. And as a result, Call is going to end up losing some SCV, or some probes. We'll see how many probes. Which is just, yeah. So first of all, his proxy tech failed. Second of all is going to end up losing additional units, and that Observer is going to take forever to get down here to deal with these Cloak Wraiths. Also, when they run out of energy, they can probably just pop to that bottom right-hand corner, and they can get all that sort of scouting information. So completely a Photon Cannon trying to warp in. That's more resources that Kala really didn't want to spend on defense. In the meantime, inside Scan Space, he's going to go ahead and get an additional Command Center and get further ahead economically, pulling those Wraith out. The Observer still trying to make its way across, and he's going to see this base being taken, and he's going to be able to wipe out that probe. Also, in the mid-game, these Wraith provide nice spotting across these ridges for those Siege Tanks. So Siege Tank Wraith, honestly, against Protoss, at least in small numbers, I don't think they're all that bad in the mid-game. Starport lifting off, moving its way across. We do have that Armory up. It's remaining silent at this stage as far as the weapons upgrade goes. Second factory we plop down. And with all of that economic damage and on all of that disruption, plus this tech now being taken out by these Wraith at the 12 o'clock location, 11 o'clock location. Scan taking a huge lead. Siege tanks moving their way across should make mincemeat of that pylon very rapidly. Kala does have a third base. But three base versus three base, usually that puts Terran ahead, although this is a gas base. Some Dragoons wandering their way to the north. He, he needs to get something accomplished here. Another Observer able to sneak out. A third one probably should be canceled. And yeah, they're just eating siege tank hits from the north now. The Observer able to wander its way across just to get assaulted. And again, with these Wraith spotting, nine kills on that Wraith. Four kills there. <laughs> Two kills... That, so what is that, 11? 15 kills overall, approximately? I might be off. Math! Let's see if I can do that again. 9, nine 4, and 2 is what I think I saw. So 14. Let me do... Let me actually pause a second. <laughs> 9 plus 4, 13 to 15. Yeah, okay. Derp. It's hard to commentate and think and do the, th the third thing. This is where the, the brain starts shutting down. It's like, can you do math? I don't think you can do math anymore. No more math for you. Not while you're trying to talk and look around a mini-map and all those other things. Shouldn't be that hard an equation. Whatever. 
significant Zealot Dragoon Force kind of wandering out, getting hit by all sorts of scans. This is a big gateway follow-up for Kala. Level of weapons is complete. He's also going to have Zealot Leg Speed. He might actually have something here, but oh, I take it back. This is way too many Siege Tanks. The mine count's low. I hear the Wraith looks like they're pecking away the pylon at the 9 o'clock. Kala wants, to, kind of going all in-ish to follow this up. He's going with a big kind of, has units kind of scattered everywhere, honestly. And you can just see the range on these siege tanks with all that scouting and actually scanning on top of everything else. And the Wraith might even be able to cloak and wander back across. So Kala winding up to have a two-pronged attack, one from the south, one from the north. But even with that, there's so many siege tanks from this back position. You can see they're just getting annihilated as they're getting spotted over this corner. Kala regathering, trying to dive in. Zelts from the north, able to get close on that back siege tank line. The Dragoons from the south, again, more counterattack. The Vulture's able to clear that out, and he realizes, yeah, that attack's not gonna... Not enough. So another match goes to Scan. Well played, top to bottom by Scan. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Gonna move on to the next match.